thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm showing you three holiday home decor projects that I DIY'd. I wish it wasn't like really obvious what I'm going to show you guys, but I just wanted to have it in the background because I'm really happy with how everything turned out. I know that I am a little bit early for holiday videos, but since everything has switched over in stores, I've just had to do some projects and of course I wanted to share them with you guys. So all of these projects are really affordable, really easy. I'm just, I think a lot of you guys are going to enjoy this. So I'm really excited about it. I have a few more holiday videos that will be coming out as well. And before I get started, I wanted to let you know there is a brand new post on my blog. It's a really cute fall outfit. And if you haven't seen my blog, before I post on a bunch of different topics. It's not only style, so definitely check that out. And of course, please subscribe and please like this video if you enjoy it, and let's get started. So the first project I'm going to be sharing with you is this wreath, and I'm really happy that I made my own this year because I thought it was going to be sort of difficult, but honestly it was really easy. For this project, I'm going to be using a few of these ornaments, some pine branches, fishing line or like a plastic string, wire hangers, scissors, and a few decorative pieces. I'm going to start by unwrapping a few hangers. I only ended up using two, and they were a lot thicker than a lot of like wire hangers that I've seen before, so that's why I only use two, but if you feel like it isn't strong enough, then feel free to double up. I did wrap the ends together, and then I used a little bit of tape. It only took a few minutes, just really simple and easy. Once that was done, I started to put the pine branches onto the frame that I made, and I used the fishing line for this. Again, I'm sorry if that's not what it's called. And I did it pretty lightly at first because since I put so many branches on, I could secure some together. So at first it doesn't have to be like super secure because there will be a ton of opportunities to secure it. There are a few different ways to secure the branches, but I prefer this fishing line because it's pretty much invisible and it's just really hard to spot it, but also it's really strong. So I really recommend this. I also should tell you guys that there are frames out there that are pre-made for hand making wreaths or if you want to use like a thicker wire instead of hangers like I did, but I always like to show you guys projects with as many like household items as I can. I like to save you guys money and just really make these projects as easy as I can. So again, if you don't want to use wire hangers, if you want to use something else, then of course that's an option as well. Once the body of my wreath was done, I just added in some decorations. I twisted the body of those around the frame of the wreath, secured in a few places with fishing line. I did the same exact thing with a few Christmas ornaments, and that was it. I'm just so happy with how it turned out, and it's a great way to have an amazing, really nice wreath, but for a very affordable price. So I hope you guys like it as much as I do. For this next project, I'm going to show you guys how to make this holiday themed sign. And this is probably my favorite project of all of these projects. I just think it looks so nice. So for this, I'm going to use a wood board. I'm also going to use some twine, scissors, white acrylic paint, white eyeliner, and that's because it just writes a lot smoother and easier. I'm also using a few paint brushes. I recommend a thin one that has a rounded tip. Once I had all of my supplies, I just kind of like surfed through Pinterest and found a saying that I liked. And I love the saying merry and bright. It's just like fun and happy. So that's what I went with. I used a white eyeliner to write out the saying and that way I could tell if I had enough room. I really recommend this because it's just sort of is like a template for you to start from and you know if there's enough space and all of that. It just won't waste any of your time. So I really recommend just starting out with a white eyeliner, a white pencil, something like that. Once I was done writing out the words, I also added in some like sparkly star marks. I really don't know what to call that and I just felt like it was a little too empty so I wanted to add something extra. I also wrapped some twine around the top of it a couple times and then I tied it in a bow and I added in some pine branches. I'm just so happy with how this turned out. I think it has a really professional, really nice look to it. It's definitely something I would expect to see like surfing through Pinterest. So. 
this next project, I'm showing you guys how to make this really cute holiday themed picture frame. And I'm starting out with a really thick frame. It's almost like a shadow box. So I will try to find some of those online for you guys and have a few links of where to buy those down below. I also am using some tape to secure a Christmas sign that I just printed off Pinterest, but feel free to use a family photo or something like that if you like. I also have these mini Christmas trees that I bought from Target. I have some cotton rounds, but cotton balls will also work, and a hot glue gun. Start by taking the frame apart and then put in the photo of your choice. I used a little bit of tape so I could secure it in place. I'm going to be working on the insert that goes around the photo as well as the shadow box frame. So I just started with a few Christmas trees and I'm attaching them on to the frame and then a few onto the insert. Once all the trees were secured, I just pulled apart a few cotton rounds so I would have some fake snow to put in there. Really take your time with this and do it as evenly as possible. And that way it will have a really realistic look to it. So once that was done, I put the frame back together and this project was good to go. It only takes a few minutes and I absolutely love how it turned out. So those are all three of my holiday home decor projects for this video. Let me know down below which one is your favorite and I do have a few more holiday videos coming up on my channel. So definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And of course, please like this video and check out the blog if you haven't yet. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.